Alright, uh, let me see now. Alright, just let me, uh... Alright, fair enough. Sorry. Alright, um... Now, I, as always, I, sh I always show you the tools you need to, uh... To, to, to make whatever it is I'm making. Alright, very first thing you need. Gallon size pitcher. Make sure it's clean. Trust me, those are the stains that are stained in from like Kool-Aid and iced tea and stuff like that. Clean lid. Now, you need a you need a tablespoon, fire whisk, and a little saucer. Put those aside for right now. And finally, you need a can opener. I'm going to go plug this in. Okay, now. Now for the edible portion, the edible parts. You need a half gallon of eggnog. Make sure it's regular plain eggnog. You don't want anything else. All right, and Libby's Easy Pumpkin Pie Mix. That's pretty much it. Okay, now, now the very first thing you do is you take the Easy, Libby's Easy Pumpkin Pie Mix, you go over towards the uh, can opener, since uh, this is an electric can opener, I'll, uh... All right, uh... Right. Sorry if you can't get a good view of it. should be good enough it is good enough okay see it smells good and it tastes good just by itself it smells good all right now second thing you do is you take the half gallon of eggnog and you pour it into this gallon sized pitcher I'll uh, try to give you guys a better view See, gallon size eggnog. Uh, no, half gallon. Sorry, half gallon. Pour it in here. All right now, see see how it's filled up here, right there. Trying to get the little last the last little bit of drops into it. Now. Now, what you do now is you take the you take the tablespoon and you get uh, you scoop out sixteen heaping tablespoons of the Libby's Easy Pumpkin Pie mix. You do it four at a time and then you mix one, two, three. Four. Now, stir it around with the wire whisk. That's the reason for the wire whisk. Make sure every single thing you have is clean. Alright, now a good idea would be to uh, just get the stuff from the bottom up to the top with the uh, spoon. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll. Uh, Turn that camera around and you take the stuff and you, from the bottom and you bring it up to the top. That's, an, that's a, another uh, use for the spoon. Okay, now. Now, now that I've stirred it around a little bit, I'm going to stir it around just a little bit more. And now I'm going to add four more tablespoons 
of the Libby's Easy Pumpkin Pie Mix. First, I'm going to rinse this off. And it'd be a good idea to have a couple paper towels with you. Don't worry about that later. Now, make sure this is dry and completely clean before you even scoop out the pumpkin pie mix stuff. Now, you can do a regular pumpkin puree, but it tastes better at the pumpkin pie mix. Trust me. I tried. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, now, once again, you use a wire whisk to stir it around. really good guys smelling really good and this is what it looks like so far with just eight tablespoons of pumpkin pie mix it it looks you can see the pinkish tint to it or, or the orange tint sorry orange all right now then. all right now nine ten 11, and last but not least, 12. All right, once again, you take the wire whisk right here, take the wire whisk and you stir it once again. You take the wire whisk because it can break it, because it can break up like the small particles and stuff like that and mix it, it helps to mix it in a lot easier. Might be a good idea to get a, a cup of some kind to, uh, I'll be back, to uh, test it at this point. Let me rinse it out. Coming along nicely, but not, not done yet. Now. 13, 14, oh crap, yeah, you can't really see the uh, jug, can you? All right, 15, all right, now, like I said, a heaping tablespoon, 16 heaping tablespoons of Libby's Easy Pumpkin Pie Mix into a half gallon of a uh, regular flavored eggnog. All right. Now mix that around again. Mix around for about a good minute or so. Should be good to go at this point in time. Mm. Maybe one more. One more, one more heaping teaspoon would not hurt. Now the cinnamon eggnog, that's a little bit trickier to do because cinnamon is a solid. Perfect. Mm. Now, when you're at the end, when you're finished, it should look like this. It has a pink, uh, has like an orangey, pinkish type tint to it. All right. I want to thank everyone for stopping by, for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit for, for chess. See ya.
Peace.